Hey all developers, welcome back to all of you once again. My name is Vichal, all the way from India. So in this video tutorial, we are going to explore about service catalog. So let's go ahead. So here, what is service catalog? And so service catalog is an application in service now that provides self-service opportunity to an internal and external user. We can say a collection of display catalog items. In the service now, from the application navigator, if you will type service catalog and under this service uh, self-service model you could see the service catalog and for now it is showing uh, two different applications service catalog uh, this one and the service catalog this basically from here you can create and maintain the catalog item and from here you can enjoy the self-service so if I open it it will show all the category associated with this service catalog. For example, within the organization, if you want some service for work like hardware, software, desktop, mobile, peripheral device, or if you want to raise a request, if you want to report an issue, if you want to use a services such as a printing machine, if you want a document shipment delivery. If you want uh, services like to produce a high level documentation, so for that things you can go into the service catalog. Okay. For all that services you can check in the service catalog. And there are four types of catalog items. Content items. Content items. We just provide information instead of goods or services. Order guide used to group several catalog items in font request. The code producer providing alternative ways of adding information via the service catalog. Maintain items. A catalog items or maintain items can be a service or good. So let's see the difference between catalog items and record producer. Answer. Catalog items and record producer are similarly because both use variables. Okay. Here variable means on the form you will find some fields that is basically for to gather the information data from the end user for the specific purpose. However, a record producer doesn't use a request to produce an incident or change of a script or template. Meaning, whenever we submit a catalog item, then it will create a request record and under this, it will create a RI team record. But whenever we will submit the record producer, instead of creating a request, it will just update or create a record such as incident problem change. Okay. So that's the difference between catalog item and record producer. And the similar thing you will find that the variables. Yes, you can see. So ideally catalog item you will use when you want to generate a request, complete the workflow, task approval, and so on. Okay. As for record producer, it should be used when you form to gather information using variables or form would create another type of record change, incident, enhancement, etc. as a result. So I will pin this into the description so that it would be easy for you to take a refer difference. So content items as an example you can see on the screen. This is the content item, this is not the article. I will show you from the application navigator type content item. Open it. And here you can see about service catalog. So this is the content item which is just providing information. And right now the type is catalog content. Means uh, we can discuss, we can write the content here. And that content will be available for the user uh, 
which uh, from here we can add the available for it. Okay. So we can add the available for from here. Okay. Leave it for now. We'll take it later. Okay, and let's uh, if I create new here. So in the available for what a user, what a group, uh, the user who has these roles can access this catalog item that we can define. Okay. This is basically called a user criteria. Okay. That's it. And we can select the catalog here, technical catalog and the category. Uh, we can have uh, multiple catalogs, but uh, when it comes to select the category, we can select a one common category from all the selected catalogs. So, this is just the content uh, you can write down by yourself okay, and then publish. And here, we can add a KV article okay. and we can associate the KV article also. Uh, we can add the module, but uh, module will work on the platform view only, but in the service portal. And we can have external content uh, where we can mention the URL. By clicking that, it will be it to that particular page. So, short description we have to mention and the all this content and the meta tag. And meta tag is nothing but uh, to search this catalog item, user can find through this keyword and we can separate by comma. That's it. We can name and separate by comma. For an instance, let's suppose if I am typing here about catalog okay and service catalog like that we can separate this data word then we can save it so this is the content item okay and for today uh, I intended to show you the use case which I have just completed it is a consulting request catalog item and we have created a workflow to fulfill the delivery of this catalog item so let me show you uh, this catalog item consulting request okay it will help you and it is very easy don't, don't worry on the application maybe get that catalog item i will tell you each and everything so that you can understand so catalog item basically i have created maintained item so under the catalog definition you could see this menu is open it and it's consulting request so when you are creating a Content item, uh, maintain item, so to specify a name, catalog, catalog, then only it will show you on the portal. If because of that uh, portal, that uh, catalog might be associated with the service portal. Uh, I mean to say that. If from the application navigator service portal if I will type here and let's find this service portal so whatever the catalog item you will attach uh, with a particular portal that can be accessible from the portal uh, let me show you to the catalog page and 
uh, if I will click this browse by category so you could see whatever the whatever all catalogs are associated with this particular uh, service portal are showing here okay. so this is the uh, category infrastructure under this uh, the services and on this all this catalog item coming under this category and this category okay okay so let's uh, look into the variable okay calculator so the variable i will show you this first so what here the difference between the variables and variable set is that a variable set can be reusable and uh, it can be used by any catalog item whenever they require so this is the variable set okay uh, the variable set name so when you create when you will go for to create for the first time it will show you this create a new variable set a single row variable set multi row variable set but a uh, multi row variable set uh, required when you have to store more than one different records okay. if, uh, if you like it to do we can say there are uh, many stuff right will have a many stuff so at the time if you want to add that stuff then you can go for this multi row variable set but uh, right now we have created this single row okay and layout we have uh, selected here two column wide alternative set means if we will have a uh, more than one records then uh, each a uh, variable will be se separated into two columns and so you could see so we have this variable who is requesting for okay. so open it open another one so So the type is reference and the order is 10 and variable set is this who is requesting for who is requesting for the question and then it will automatically generate so when you will type this and for and blur outside then it will automatically generate based on your question okay and if you want to use so help help tag help fix Add and type specification because this is the reference type it should refer to the user record okay and this is simple reference qualifier and here email the type is email the question here and nothing other okay Annotation is not available, type specification is not available, default value is not permission. It who can access this uh, variable is not available. Availability, okay. Visible elsewhere, visible on golden, visible on guides, you can select. And this is not the mandatory field, but uh, the previous field, who is the primary contact is mandatory. Okay. Okay. And the most significant uh, feature here catalog data lookup definition. I will show you. Uh, please don't skip, friends. Otherwise, it will miss. So, looking for email means uh, if I will select uh, this feature is just for to let you know, uh, else uh, there is no use. Who is request for email address who requested? Okay, if I select the user, then automatically it will populate the email address of that particular user. 
So using the catalog data lookup definition, we can achieve. So how we can achieve? First, we have to create a record. Our name that I've created uh, the proposed looking for email applies to a variable set. Okay, the variable set name and the matcher table. Name. So because the matcher, uh, we are matching we are relating these two fields with the same table that's why here the method table is using and after that once you say okay, and here you have to mark it as run on form change okay. who is requested requesting for okay. so I will open this record for the first time it will show you blank but then you have to click this new to create Source variable name. Okay. We have to query through this. This is basically for query. Okay. Catalog method variable definition. And this is for setting. This is for query. So source variable variable name. Which request for a matcher table frame is. And the sys user table. Of by. In the, in the sys user table. By which field you want to match this very okay? Like we have defined. And the second, we have defined that if that uh, if this will match, okay? Then from that matcher table, populate the email value into this very that's it, that's it man. Close it. So this is the variable set. And I'll show you, so let me show you. Try it. So if I'll select any user like uh, this. You can see, uh, based on this user, uh, based on the selected user, this email will email populate it. Okay. So we have the part for center where we will use the select box type and it has these three choices IP is that finance. Okay. If, uh, if you want to include a num, just I will. Include the non default value permission availability. Okay. That's all this uh, right now. It's none of our business. You can check by yourself, friend. You are a developer. Right. You are a full developer, man. Okay. Close it. And the reference what would you like to make it? What group would you like to make it? Uh, okay, okay, this is the reference field and because so we are asking for what group means the team and user will to connect okay, will to make to consult. So the type is specification here, the group table, and this is the simple. Okay. And we have a multi, what is the business purpose? It's just a multi line text. And what are you trying to solve? That's it, and that's it. Click this try it button. So you can see this is a multi line text. Is a choose value. Okay, okay. So let's see the workflow. Okay. So to fulfill the delivery of this uh, catalog guide, we have flow have uh, created consulting request. Okay. So 
so from the application navigator to create a workflow you need to type workflow editor it will basically for it is basically for to uh, automate the process and once you click to open and to show the list of all the workflow that has been already I came out of the box or some which I have created. So this consulting request workflow. Okay, let's open it. It is the simple. So I just want to keep out for you. But I can show you how it is working. According to the use case, we have to ask approval for ask approval to the manager teams manager uh, and the team approval I will tell you this is the catalog item ok so if I am selecting uh, user ok means uh, this user is requesting for to consult with uh, this thing, okay. Uh, he might, uh, he may have uh, some business purpose, uh, significant business purpose, and he wants to solve something. So that he wants to connect with this thing, okay. And for that, what I here to give to fulfill that uh, service created workflow okay and okay. so how it is busy it will be uh, so for the first time it will show you to select a uh, name workflow name and another select the table you have to select sc underscore rec underscore item table okay and and it should run automatically computed that you have to check right uh, there is a field which will show you okay And after that, once the RITM will create, it will ask a manager to approve. Okay, that team manager to approve. So here, state you have to select waiting for approval and no condition is there for this. Users and goods. I'm selecting users for this group because you have to select uh, the manager dynamically from the variable. Okay. So here I'm taking the variable what group would you like to make? Okay. This is the backend name of that variable. This variable. Current that variable set and the backend that push. it will return you the sys id of the group okay uh, from that group you have to fetch the manager so using this slide record i'm fetching the manager and pushing into this answer equal to okay this variable okay you could see means uh, this approval will go to this uh, manager which we are fetching that's it and you can ask approval more than one user in this case you have to wait for anyone to approve if you want to approve first, first response from anyone okay this conditional based on the screen just leave it so can count total equal to total number of 
constant of the constant rebuild phase. So I have to write this script. And based on this, uh, you can run the further process. But only one user is there, okay? So, I have lived as it was. So, anyone who is manager can reject with the approval. Waiting for the other responses. Okay. Means, uh, from the same thing, uh, for an example, let's suppose approval will trigger to more than 2-3 users and if the one is saying that I don't want to approve, but another is saying that I want to approve. So, so this conflicting wait for other response before deciding. Okay. Approval column, approval that is an approval history. Once approved, it will ping uh, something in the approval that uh, walk notes. Okay, and you can schedule also. And close it and here approval group. Once the manager approved, we will go for the approval group. Again, it is waiting for approval. The team approval name. And it is also the advanced approval script. So here I am adding the group, the thing which we will select uh, in the catalog item form. Okay. If the user selected uh, this thing, then the approval will go to this thing. Okay go to this thing and for that I have select current that variable set this is the backend name of that of field first group would you like to make this okay. that's it sometime to return uh, an object so to avoid to To be safe from that, I'll convert it into string. Okay. So, and here also, uh, the time zone you can uh, schedule based on the time zone. The date you can specify. Condition for approval. Wait for approval. You can wait for approval in approval from everyone in all groups. Right now we have one group. Okay, so. From that uh, particular group, if the, all the members will approve that only, it will allow for the next transition. So, for that, I have selected this. Okay. When anyone rejects, the same as previous, uh, I, I just discussed before. And just close it and notification I am sending. That I'm sending the notification to that uh, user who requested for okay. so still delivery and then advance answer that push current variable who is the question to the question for means the user which if I will select okay the subject your request for consulting as in and please click this URL and equipment for the display value it will show you the number but behind the scene it is the link when you click that link it will be redirect to that particular RID in repository okay. you type the status okay. and the catalog task for the fulfillment once uh, manager approve uh, once the team approve okay then only the last thing will remain is that to fulfill that uh, delivery. Okay. And what we are doing is your task for fulfillment and assign to things manually. Yes. So here the stage is fulfillment, we have to select and the table. See. 
task as click and drag this <laughs> and it will ask all these questions So here also I am selecting the group and uh, from the group I am clicking the manager and assigning to that manager yeah, and uh, if you want to bring all this tree you can do it okay? so that it could be visible for uh, manager we can see time to use it okay. to uh, the block all you have to do is that you just have to click here and then you have to drive okay. it it's public it once you publish so you can not be able to edit your workflow. So let's check by define the block man. And I would like to create an application in Python and Coding for all these things. And just order now. So let's go here and see RIT. So you could see one approval for the manager. Basically, this user is the manager of that group. So let me open this. So I type your group. So we put C. Uh, this is the manager for this team which we have selected. Uh, if you will approve it. If we approve. What will happen? See. All uh, net approval for the team members will be Team members generated. Generated. So, to check the workflow, how it is working, complete this uh, workflow and you can see the manager approved and it is running for the members to be approved. So, as I said, let's see. I'll approve this one, okay. See, still it is running. Why? Because all members must have to be approved for the next transition, okay. So let's approve all. So, and again, let's say this is the second member. Last we have to approve <laughs> if I'll go here and refresh it to show you the task because all the members of that particular team have approved uh, the request and, and also it will notify to that uh, particular user. So that user, let's see. So let's copy this email and go to the email log so that we can check emails. Okay, so let's open it. So 
good just for you, you know? Great, you can see please click or enter to try this state So, so this is that your request for consulting has been okay. Okay. Uh, Now it is uh, waiting for the fulfillment uh, Please fulfill this Basically What is this uh, catalog task for? The last stage to fulfill the delivery, right? And short discussion. Please schedule a meeting for post discussion, okay? <laughs> According to the request. Now it will assign to this uh, manager who will schedule the meeting for consult for consulting, okay? So let's uh, get so I say close complete. Okay. Let's suppose this manager schedules the meeting. Okay. And both discuss. And after that we can just close and complete. Okay. That's it. So friend Hope you enjoy this video. If you really like, then please do subscribe and share.